Sadie and Colby. We are so glad that y'all are tuning in for our first Monday night devotional. Um, so tonight, obviously in our first song, we're just talking about how the devil is so powerful and it's so crazy how he moves like so slowly, but then yet so fast because you don't even see it coming. And then all of a sudden you hit that wall and you're just stuck down into temptation. And Colby has a verse to read about that. And one thing about that song is it's called Slow Fade and it's by the Casting Crowns. And I encourage anyone to go download that song because it is it's truly amazing. It's basically. truly amazing. <laughs> and it really gets you. And you might really. shed a tear like me. <laughs> me too. <laughs> um, okay, the verse I have is James 1, 14. And it says, Temptation comes from our own desires, which entice us and drag us away. And basically that's what Slow Fade is about. And we all face temptation, every single one of us. And it's not a sin to feel temptation, but when you give in to that, that's when the devil's like, yeah, I got him. <laughs> and so that's when you have to stand up and be like, heck no, you back off because I'm not gonna give in to that. And I'm gonna stand up and be different. Word. So, <laughs> word, <holy. laughs> um, so that's what that verse is basically <clears throat> saying is that when we give in to our temptations, then that's when things are gonna go downhill from there. And he works so, he's so smart because he gets you in the places that it's just something real small and it's just a little choice that you make. But the choices lead into bigger decisions and bigger mm -hmm. decisions which make you get totally lost in sin and you don't even realize it. But the cool thing is that we have a God that is different and he's different than anything of this world. You know, we there's nothing like God in this. I mean, mm -hmm. it's crazy because God can forgive you. You know, Colby's mom always says, what she say? It's something about... It's a, it's a, my mom always says, if a pregnant girl who's been having sex before marriage and all of that walks up to the altar and asks God for forgiveness, he's going to forgive her and he's going to say, of course, I love you. But when she walks away from that altar, she still has the consequence of she's still going to have a baby. And the baby's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. But she still, she had sex before marriage and she still has to live with the consequences of that. And so... Yeah, God's going to forgive you, but you still have to face some of your consequences, mm -hmm. so you can't just run away from them. So, don't give in to sin. Love God. <laughs> but oh. anyway, even if you do give in to sin, like everybody does at one mm -hmm. point in their life, God will forgive uh -huh. you. Everybody has, you know. Ask me every, sometimes. That's, that's going to happen. <laughs> every one of us has felt in some way what those cards represent. and in some way has related to that song, Slow Fade. And at the end, these two little girls are singing it. And it is the sweetest thing. They're just talking about how you just need to be careful what you see and what you put into your bodies because that's going to reflect on how you live your life. Another verse? Okay, 2 mm -hmm. Timothy 2.22, and it says, Run from anything that stimulates youthful mm -hmm. lusts. Instead, pursue righteous living, faithfulness, love, and peace. Enjoy the companionship of those who call on the Lord with pure hearts. You need surround yourself with people who are going to build you up and are going to help you um, and building your faith and helping it grow stronger and stronger because that is what's going to help you sustain from all of those temptations. I got this girl right here where we help each other all the time. We keep each other, we keep each other accountable and we make sure to say, hey, you know, what's the Bible say about this? Or, you know, like we help each other with that. And that's what everybody needs. And it's awesome to have. Find friends like that. And if you don't have friends like that, Talk to your Call friends us. about it because you know what? More than likely, they're gonna want the same thing as you do. Just y'all are too scared to admit it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's just hard because you give in to temptation. But if you are that one bad person in a good crowd, that's hard to do, you know, because the good is more powerful than the bad, and it's just something that you need to surround yourself with. If you're friends with people like Colby, like since she, I have a friend like her, she's gonna keep me accountable. If I'm doing something wrong, she's gonna be like, "Girl." snap out of it you know find somebody like that find somebody that will tell you if you're doing something wrong because it really changes your life really you might think you won't want that but you do it's nice to have somebody say hey what are you doing now our last song today is talking about who we are you know who we are what i am different is we are different and we are a child of god you know that is different in this world and it's sad that it's different but you know what we're trying to make it the thing. We're trying to make it cool. And I hope that y'all join along with us and subscribe on YouTube yes. and retweet and get the word out there because this is such an awesome thing that we're trying to get going. Thanks, everybody. See you next week.